Cleveland video. And then they put me so much. What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Lane Performance, Half Lane Videos. Um, if you don't follow us, please follow us. Uh, give us a follow on Instagram, which is Half Lane Performance. Um, of course, you can find us here on YouTube. And our main uh, website is HondaJSeriesEngine.com, where you can find all of our products. You can ask questions. We have an online forum, a performance forum. Um, it allows you to ask any questions, but it also allows you to answer questions so you can help other Honda J Series enthusiasts. Just go to the Q&A forum, um, performance forum, and you can just make an account. And then from there, you can ask any questions or answer any questions to help somebody, somebody out. out. So what we're doing here in this video is I'm going to show you our new release. And I'm extremely, guys, I'm extremely proud. Uh, it was a lot of hard work and it was a lot of money to get these uh, these Haverland 1000 horsepower J series um, 4340 chromoly H beam rods and they are in so let's go ahead and take a look all right guys here they are so I went ahead and I grabbed three out for you guys just to take a look at and here they are these are our Haverland performance 1000 horsepower J35 rods they are absolutely immaculate guys so let me see if i can do this with the uh the gimbal or the stabilizer here it's not really working because it's locked out but here they are guys i mean the the quality is just absolutely perfect um the specs came out exactly to what we wanted again guys these are 1000 these are rated at 1000 you horsepower. can use them as a direct swap in a j35 or you can stroke your j30 out with a J35 crank and, J and our 1,000 horsepower rods, you can stroke, excuse me, you can stroke it out to a J33, or you can stroke out a J32 to a J35 with our 1,000 horsepower J35 rods and J35 crank. And what I have here lined up is our Haverland. These are our 800 horsepower block guards. They can go well beyond that, guys, but that's what we're going to warranty them at. Just as our 1,000 horsepower rods, that's what they're warrantied at. So um, when you see a horsepower rating in our title on our store, that usually means that's what our warranty is on them. That's what we'll warranty them out for a year. Um, but obviously they can be taken much further like these these have been tested 800 to a thousand to 1200 horsepower and they they are absolutely doing phenomenal um, zero issues with them and if you guys don't know you can once again you can go on our website which is honda j series engine.com and go over to the shop section um, of the store and that will bring you to our online store and you'll see these and they are 239 for the pair so you obviously you get the pair you're not paying for singles um the 239 for the pair and it's great reassurance guys because if you don't recall let me show you real so quick if you're not well versed in the honda j series um this our honda j series are open deck so what they mean by open deck is obviously this water passage does not connect it's basically kind of floating so the cylinders are not really supported except by themselves where they're kind of siamese here where they're connected here and there but over here as you can see all the way around them there's zero support this is a little better there's zero support for them so that is where our hafferland j32 j35 um block guards come into play and these block guards they are made out of aerospace 7017 billet aluminum and the 1717 the 7017, sorry, is like I said, it's an aerospace uh, aluminum, which is actually on the space shuttle. This isn't a marketing ploy or anything. This is the best material to use um, for the block guards because it has, <clears throat> excuse me, it has very similar, similar um, expansion and contraction, whatever they want to call it, expansion rate. So it will whenever it heats up it will expand at nearly the the same amount as the block itself because if you have a metal that over expands obviously you're you're then stressing the the cylinders um which could lead to potential cracking of the cylinder or the block so our block guards contract and expand with the block material itself so and then secondly they are installed the 
the fitment is very, very tight. Once again, check us out on HondaJSeriesEngine.com and you can go over the, um, the listing description. We also have installation tips. Super fucking easy to install, guys. Literally, you set them down. Um, you, have, you have two options. You can set them in dry, um, which is perfectly fine, or you can do a light epoxy around the, um, you can do a light epoxy around the uh, guards and that will just give a, a little more reassurance that they're not going to go anywhere. But guys, honestly, I'm 100% sure they're not going to go fucking anywhere, even if you install them dry. So what you do, you just set them down into the cylinder of uh, the water passages. And you basically just take a rubber mallet, um, obviously push in evenly, and then take a rubber mallet and just go around and lightly tap them in. And you'll find that it's a very tight fit, guys. Very, very tight. <clears throat> so then basically once they're flush with the deck height, that's it. That's all you got to do, and your your now OEM sleeve motor is safe to 800 wheel horsepower. So now, <laughs> are the internals not so much? That's where our thousand horsepower J series uh, J J35 rods come into play. And like I said before, guys, if you want to stroke your J30 out to a J33, you can. If you want to stroke your J32 out to a J35, you can. And then something else that nobody really touches on is a J37 de-stroked. So taking some of that stroke out. So at that point, you, you're kind of like, eh, well, should I just go to a J36? Well, a J36 is a J32 or J35 block with J, J37 internals. And the issue, my main issue, why I usually, you'll usually never see me uh, suggesting a J36 or a J37 is because of the uh, piston uh, not, not the piston, yeah, the piston speed. So the stroke, so the stroke, the stroke on the J37s is 96 millimeter. Um, that's, that's a lot of stroke, guys. So um, the issue there is that the piston speed around, I think, 6 to 6200 becomes greater than 5,000 feet per minute. And that's, that's fucking fast. Once you start getting them beyond like the 5,000 mark, you, you tend to start having uh, internal issues. So, and then along with that, um, you, you start seeing a, a major drop off in power. So if, if the J37 is pulling, this is a dyno chart, if the J37 is pulling, once it gets to 6,000, 6,200, you'll see it just start tapering off, tapering off. Where say a J30, that's an 86, 86 stroke. So that's a squared motor. And when people say squared motor, that's what they mean. The, the bore and the stroke are the same so it's a square motor and that's where i tend to uh lean towards and honestly the reason why i suggest the j32 so much is because it actually has a bigger bore than stroke ratio so the j32 is 89 86 bore so it has a bigger bore than stroke and those things i mean that's why they they love to rev out just as the j30 does so um, the J30 on stock cams are stage 1.5 PMP heads. That thing was revving out to 7200 and not dying off. Where the J37 with that long stroke is dying out around 6200. You see, I hope you guys can follow me there. But that's where I tend to lie or I, I tend to refer people. That's just me. I just like a, a, a little high of a revving motor. I don't like a, a luggy and don't get me wrong when I say luggy doesn't mean slow just means it has a lot of grunt but it doesn't have a lot of top end and I kind of like the middle I like a good amount of down low a lot of grunt um, but I also like a motor that will rev out to 7500 and still make power now where a lot of J37 guys can go if you have a J37A1 um, that is the single VTEC J37 and we have our stage 2 can for those uh, we are still working on the dual VTEC um, the VCM cams for the new Gen 3, the Z, and the Y motors, but guys, it's a pain in the ass, honestly, because they have non-VCM, BCM, single VTEC, dual VTEC, all on those motors, and there's like four to five different profiles per per generation, so it's really, it's a, it's a cluster anyways, but um, we do have our cam cutting service, so if you can take the cams out, send them in to us, we'll, we'll get them cut to our specs. Um, which obviously you're proving guys uh, where uh, we have 
quite a few customers out there, 20 plus now, that have our cams and are doing phenomenal. And then obviously you can go back and you can go to our cam listing and you can look at our dyno sheet there. J32 A3 made 316 wheel horsepower, all the while being on 93 pump gas, uh, negative two-step colder plugs, richer AFR. It was basically tuned and set up for a turbo setup. So if, if I simply put the correct uh, heat range plug in there, um, you know, went back to stock heat range, uh, leaned out the AFRs a little and put a little more um, timing in it, that, thing, that fucking motor would have been 325 wheel horsepower on 93 pump, where there's a lot of guys out there having trouble breaking 300 on a J35. Now you're you're gonna see time to time you're gonna see guys with like Civics running like 195 uh, wide tires and 15 inch rims and shit and they're breaking 300 making like 302 310 or something like that and I give them props but like I said for what I had 245 tires small two and a half inch catback exhaust negative two step quarter plugs not even stock plugs less timing more fuel. You see where I'm getting at. That that was easily a 325 wheel horsepower motor. But anyways, back to the rods and the block guards. So we already went over the block guards. These will be going in the J35A7 that I'm building out right now. Um, we are just waiting on our um, partnering. <laughs> I haven't told you guys this. I, I think I briefly touched on it in the last video, but we are working with two piston manufacturers and one of them is sending a set of samples to us. It is not exactly the sample that we'll be getting and I don't want to go too far into that, but I think I told you guys before, um, we're looking at a high silicone cast piston, all right? So it is a cast piston, but the high silicone, once again, the expansion rate, it has e extremely good thermal um, expansion uh, and uh, resistant properties. Basically, the high silicone, the pistons do not expand as much due to high heat because they don't react as much to the high heat. So that high silicone alloy allows the piston to sit there cooler, and that's, that's a main issue especially if it's like a, a stock motor with stock piston ring gap where our rings heat up if that piston heats up obviously the rings are going to heat up they're going to expand and they're going to butt and then you're going to have a broken ring lane like, like i did so anyways guys these are the um j35 rods we already went over them but as you can see here they are beautiful so they come full set full six pieces all of them rated to a thousand horsepower warranted at a thousand horsepower and that's crank guys that's not wheel that's crank um for one year so if you have any issues whatsoever which i pretty much fucking guarantee you, you won't we will fully refund them for free or replace that one piston or not piston replace that one rod also guys for the 645 dollars for the complete set the one year warranty at a thousand horsepower you're also getting our hafferland 15 100 horsepower 3 8 bolts so all the bolts are included with our rods so you get the rods you get the warranty um, you get the 1500 horsepower bolts and it ships for free so that's to me guys that is a killer deal so literally what you see here what you see here on the table um, basically a stage one turbo uh, short block build you could have it affordably 645 and then you got a, another 240 so you're looking at um 880 so under a thousand dollars bro <laughs> under a thousand dollars if there's a girl in here it's a woman too girl woman bro woman uh under a thousand dollars you can literally have forged rods and block guards to safely run you know 800 to a thousand horsepower um on a, on a basically stock motor Obviously, these you'll start pushing these a little harder at a thousand, but I really think they can take it. Um, the I know these can take it. I know our block guards can take it. The only thing, only thing I start to worry about is the actual stock sleeve at that point. You know, what can the stock sleeve hold? And I, I think 800 is is more than possible, but we will see. And that's the reason a lot of people have they've never taken a J up that high a stock stock sleeve stock block. 
um, J series. I think the highest is like 700 something, and that that ran for a short period of time. So a lot of guys get caught up on peak power and whoa, what it will do. What I'm more impressed by, I'm more impressed by a high high to mid horsepower um, motor running a long time. That's what I'm impressed by. If I could, if I saw a 650 wheel horsepower stock block, stock motor, stock fuel, 93 fuel, um, running, you know, 40,000 miles and doing multiple events, I would be like, fuck, how the hell do they do that? But you don't see that, guys. You have other guys that are claiming, you know, stock motor, oh, we pushed it to 700. Yeah, for how fucking long? What, for, for uh, four races, 10 races, where you're, you're running maybe a minute at a time per race? Where, where our car and my test car, my test, my daily vehicle that I test on is run every fucking day. I do multiple poles a day. It's run for hours at a time, day in, day out. And still on a stock motor, junkyard, junkyard motor, guys. So you got a lot of haters saying, oh, he blows his shit up. Stock fucking motor running damn near 600 wheel horsepower daily, 10,000 miles plus and doing racing. I chalked that up as pretty fucking good, guys. The only issue I had was the um, piston ring land. And like I said, the, the gapping on the ring land on the stock rings are tight. Piston a little more than it should have, but it wasn't fucking detonation, guys. You can look at, you can look at my pictures. The top of the piston, there was zero, zero fucking signs of detonation. But of course, the haters are gonna say, oh, he fucking blew it up with his tune or, he blew it up with the tires he put on. You know, just bullshit. Anything. Anything. <laughs> what I actually find the most comical um, about people that say shit like that, uh, literally the best engine builders in the game have blown up many, many, maybe even dozens of motors. And that's the only way you find limits, guys. I, I wasn't there. So if you go back into my videos, you'll see that my initial the only reason I was doing a stock motor was to push the limits and see what it can do because I don't go based off a of hearsay or what somebody else says I want to see the results for myself I want to see what it does and I want to have hands-on experience with it where you know there's a lot of shops out there that will basically build and push the limits on customer cars and I don't do that shit so I mean if the haters want to say oh he blew up a fucking motor well uh, I blew up one motor and I had a piston ring land have issues and then my transmission. They'll, they'll blame my fucking tune on, on breaking the transmission third gear too, right? Yeah, so whatever. But like I was getting back to what I was saying, guys, um, literally the best of the best blow shit up constantly, constantly, guys. And over time, you revise what you do, how you do it, and you learn. And that's the only way to fucking do it. So. If anybody says, you know, they haven't blown up a motor, they're not pushing it hard enough, in my opinion. That's it, plain and simple. And of course, you got guys out there that, um, maybe a few, maybe a few, I'm sure there's a few down the line that have gotten lucky and pushed it um, with zero issues on their first motor build and nothing happened for, you know, a few thousand miles or a year or whatever. But eventually, guys, everything fucking breaks. Everything breaks, especially junkyard stock motors. And that's all I have to say about it. Let's see. Well, I hope you liked the video, guys. Um, once again, please give me a follow on Instagram at Hafferland Performance. And follow us, um, obviously, on here on YouTube. Please hit the notification bell to receive uh, notification updates on new videos. Because, obviously, we have some more products coming in. Um, and, of course, we got the race motor. Not the race motor. We got the race car. We got the daily J35 um, build we have the local customer and then I also have a few motor builds coming up So we have a few out-of-state customers that are um, having us build the motor So we will go from there guys um, as always. Thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget check us out at HondaJSeriesEngine.com